Hey, what is up guys? This is a very quick video asking you guys, what do you think about cutting your cable? And for me personally, I pay $140 for internet and cable TV, which I think is a complete ripoff. And they have the Kindle Fire TV the Apple TV, Roku, and even the Google Chromecast. So what do you guys think of all these different devices that are cutting your cost of cable, but you're still not getting every single cable channel that is available? Let's say you want the sci-fi channel, you want uh, ESPN. A lot of times they're not available to live stream on these certain boxes. So do you think eventually cable TV will just be streaming on like a Apple TV where you just pay $30 a month and get like 15, 20 channels that you normally want? Or do you think it's always going to be you have to call Comcast or Uverse and have to pay 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars to get certain packages that maybe you don't want because the average person only spends about hundred dollars to watch maybe four to five channels. Me personally, I only watch maybe four to five channels and I heard in a research it's about 10 to 12 channels that a person actually watches and the rest of those three four five hundred channels no one ever sits down and watches so what do you guys think of, of the kindle fire t or the uh, amazon fire tv apple tv roku and the google google chromecast do you think they're um a way to cut costs do you think they're still not to the point that you can cut your cable and be 100 percent satisfied because you're still paying for google for your Hulu, Netflix, and all these other little streaming services, and they can add up to be in about 40, 50 bucks. So at the end of the day, will we have a set top box that will minimize the use of cable TV and will just run it off internet? So at the end of the day, why did you cut your cable? Because I pay $140 a month for just basic TV and I think it's a complete ripoff but if you use any set top box which one would you recommend and why the Google Chromecast the Apple TV Amazon Fire TV Roku or do you use like a smart TV or an Xbox or PS4 to get your movies on because I actually use a lot of times the Xbox 360 back in the day it actually had pretty good uh, streaming from Netflix to YouTube to Hulu but these still do not offer everything you might want. You don't get live games. You can't watch NFL. You can't watch UFC fights. You can't watch them live. If they're like on free TV, you can't just go on the Apple TV and click on Fox and start watching regular uh, UFC fights. But at the end of the day, is this a way to cut costs in your cable bill? Let me know in the comment section below because me and my family, we're ready to cut the cord and because it, it gets to the point, man, that every year it seems like cable goes up and up and as a kid i never remember spending more than like 50 bucks to get a hundred channels yes we didn't have netflix and hulu back then but still 140 dollars a month that i pay is completely unnecessary so i am trevor as always remember to hit that like button subscribe button and i'll definitely see you guys in the next video thanks for watching